Welcome to the office. How are you, Karen? I'm good. <laughs> nice to meet Me you. Me too. Welcome to the office. Oh, thank you. You're coming from Philadelphia. Yeah, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Why did you have to come all the way? First of all, who found you? You found oh, me? Oh, yeah. No, my husband. Your husband yeah. found you. Yeah, so. he was like uh, watching you know, all your videos almost like a over the month. Okay. And then he and said, you and you walked in on him and heard the yelling and screaming and said, <laughs> "What are you doing?" And yeah, and I was actually I was in the middle of the another practice um, medications, and I said, "Okay, let me finish this one and let make it." For what? What's going on? Okay, and um, two years ago I have a sudden pain on my left leg, okay. starting from back and all the way down here. Okay. But I didn't really pay attention. I thought it's maybe like a vein varicose because I have you know all these blue lanes and sometimes when I'm standing longer, my legs hurts. Okay. And I was ignoring, but like at the end of the I think uh, during the Christmas it start another leg giving me pain and I said wait a minute something wrong, and because of the Christmas New Year I couldn't see the doctor and when I. Uh, 20, 21, 22, yes, I called my uh, physician uh, and he said, you need to see orthopedic. And I went and he, he said, it's like my disc herniation L4, L5. So you were diagnosed with an L4, L5 herniated yeah, disc and that's what was causing and, the shooting yes, pain down your leg. And they said, and uh, she suggested me get some injections, and mm -hmm. I, which I did. I think I got four or five injections. In your back? Ye ye yes, like a, no, 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 like around, the, it's a bit the x-ray. Long needle goes in around in here. Epidural? Yeah, epidural, yes. So, um, and... Four epidurals? Yeah, like a, four times. In, I how, in how long? Oh, uh, I think... In it's one a, year? Yes. And didn't help. And then I said... Well, there's another issue with having four cortisone shots in a year. And that what it does is it actually starts to demineralize bone after three. Mm. So you got to be very mindful of it because it causes low bone density. Oh, okay. really? I did not. And we need to talk about that. Yeah, more than three uh, injections in a year will demineralize bone. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll talk about that stuff later. Okay. Yeah. And so you had four injections. It did not work. Yeah, and then um, doctor suggests me. You know, you need to see a neurosurgeon. Okay. And I For went. what? Because injection not working, I have a pain from back and I can't sit down. So now they want to I cut you open. I can't stand. Okay. I can't walk. It's like a burning pain. Okay. And they said you need to see a neurosurgeon. Okay. And I went. I saw a neurosurgeon, and actually I saw two neurosurgeons just in case you get a second opinion. When I saw the first one, he said um, he got the X-ray, and he said he looked my X-ray, and he said, you know, I ha I see that like a L four L five like a little herniation disc but it's not like a really bad to mm -hmm. get the surgery but I said I have so much pain in here mm -hmm. he said I don't understand what the pain is causing you and then okay and then I said another I made another point with another neurosurgeon and he looked and he said same exact the same thing I don't see like a necessary surgery but I don't understand what's going on and then I had a pain all over here in right then and and then he was asking me, I think, um, I forgot, and I think he gave me some, another injection. And then I said, uh, it's not working. And I came like uh, last year, I think, and I made so much pain. I was crying, I can't walk. And he said, let's get surgery. And he said, yes, I would like to get the surgery. But he said, it's going to be like a disc herniation surgery, like it's going to be open like a two inches cut and a little bit like a scratching, the what is it? Yeah, I get it. So you did it or you didn't do it? I got it. I have it. So you had arthroscopic surgery yes. on your back? Yes. And on L4, L5. Mm -hmm. And did that work? No. That's why you're here. Yes. Okay. And I told my neurosurgeon it's not working. He said, you know what? We might be wrong diagnosed you. What's going on? He said, it, it might be SI joint pain. After doing a... Yes, after surgery it okay. didn't work. And I said, you need to see the pain management doctor. And I went to the pain management doctor, and he yeah. said, okay, it might be SI joint, let me get some 
another another injection in your SI jar. Just like a new year. And I said, oh my God. And after that, nothing happened. No change. Uh -huh. And I said, oh my God, it's not working. And then my neurosurgeon said, you know what you try? It's called uh, Dr. spine. Yes, yeah, spine. Decompression. No, no, it's like a cord installed in your body. Wow. It's Did they uh, put it? No, I said, I don't know to oh, put nothing no. in my body. I know what they want. I don't to do. know. I had a patient like this years ago. They put a device to yes. send the signals to uh -huh. cut the pain. Yes, yes. Okay. And then I tied acupuncture and I did another chiropractor. And then I got it. <laughs> I, mean, I, I just went everywhere. And now you're frustrated. I went to Chicago to tie another acupuncture and then in May, I was looking on Google and this uh, spinal restore management popped up. And I called, it said, oh, you come back, we can treat you. And it says it's kind of like a, you need like a 24 sessions and decompression table with massage and some kind of herbal and you did supplement. It? Yes, which I started in May 6th. Okay. No luck. All right, so I want to have a little talk, okay, because your story, you're frustrated and you're looking for answers. You did not get an answer. And even when you thought the answer was the L4, L5, let's do arthroscopic and clean it up. That's mm -hmm. what happened, right? And each treatment you received didn't last or didn't help. Um, did you get any results from any of this? No, the last treatment, just like a pain strength reduced. So, but from, I still so from two years ago, uh -huh. two years ago when this happened till today, yes. is anything better? No. Okay. And this is a, And this is after arthroscopic back surgery, five cortisone shots, physical therapy, acupuncture, Massage, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. So two years, you spend over $10,000 and you did not get a result. Yeah. So now your husband found Dr. Rahim yeah. online, says <laughs> go see this crazy guy in LA yeah. and let him go get a, give yeah. you a home run and see what happens. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's what happened. Yes. Right? Yeah. Sound yeah. about right? Yes. So she wants a home run. <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay, I got it. Um, I got it. And Here's the sad part, and I'm gonna come sit over here for a second mm -hmm. because I'm gonna now talk to these guys over here because I don't really talk to these guys. They just yeah. watch me talk to yeah. the patients. And this is the story, guys, of everybody coming and traveling. Mm -hmm. And it's not to say what one person or the other person or this hospital or this doctor or this therapist. And the idea is what is the problem and what is the accurate way to diagnose this problem? Yeah, okay. Definitely. Now, if we're looking at the low back, and I'm going to explain, you have an L4, but the answer is not L4. And I'm going to show you the answer today. You're going to get your answers, okay? Oh, thank God. And that's the thing is people want the answer of what is going on. Because they're just guessing it might be that, might be that, might be that. Well, this, yeah. You know? Well, you know why? Uh -huh. That's diagnosis. It's called a working diagnosis. And, and I've it, done like a and you know where a, a CAT scan, MRI. They didn't find nothing. I have no nothing idea. in your brain, right? It's clean? <laughs> brain is good? Brain is good. Clear? <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. All right. So jokes aside for a second, we're going to go over your x-rays. I want to explain something because most of the people that are coming to me, if not all of them, that tell me L4, L, especially when they tell me L4, L5, mm -hmm. um, I usually find it lower down in the tailbone, in the sacrum, okay? Mm -hmm. And you could have an L4, L5, but if that, and we consider L4 the second floor of the building, mm -hmm. but your issue is your basement, your foundation. Mm -hmm. And that's what everyone is missing. I'm sorry, but you guys are missing it, dude. And as long as you guys keep missing it, we're gonna have patients like this traveling. And they're gonna be traveling to guys like me and others out there, and they're looking for answers. And the reality is that protocol, protocol is, it's, it's the protocol. Mm -hmm. It's the system. And the system is you go, it's a very specific system. When you come in, you complain of something, and then you go through the system. And if the system clears your, system, your symptom, you're good. Yeah. 
if the system does not clear the, the symptom, <laughs> then the patient did not respond to treatment. Yeah. It's not the doctor's fault. Okay. Come over here, let's get some answers. And one of the things I like is going over the x-rays with patients together. Let's do it. This is you, this is a picture in time. This is the looking at you from behind, okay? This is the right side, this is the left side. This is your side profile, and we're gonna go back and forth between both x-rays. I want you to think of this as a 24-story building. Yeah, we have mm -hmm. 24 bones in the spine, this is your 24-story building. This is the foundation of your 24-story building. And yes, madam, your building is tilting. Your building is tilting to the left side. And we need to figure out why. Okay? So, as you've watched my videos and you've heard me talk a lot about what I do, everything is based on the foundation. So let's take a look at the foundation and see what's going on. This is your, you can see your tilting on the left side. Your left side is lower than your right side, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you the numbers so it makes a little more sense what's going on. Okay, here's your answer to your foundation now. Forget L4, L5. Okay. Forget about it right uh -huh. now. Right now you have a misaligned pelvis and you have a short leg on your left side. That's why the adjustments did not hold. That's why treatment did not work. Because right now, this needs to be under seven millimeters. It's at seven. If you're getting your pelvis worked, it's gonna make it worse. So it's not your SI joint, mm -hmm. okay? If I adjust your SI joint, I'm gonna make it worse. Mm -hmm. And now the answer is right there in the tailbone. It's S4, S5, I can see it right there, and it's causing the whole tailbone to tilt to your left side. I will draw the line for you. It starts from, okay? So this is your tailbone there. Okay. At S4, it's tilting. And so the tilting of your, of your hips is coming from your tailbone, S4. It's right there, okay? And that's what, instead of being like this, it's like this. Left side. It's like this. Uh -huh. Now look, your L5 is doing this, and then your L4 is doing that. L4 is never going to hold unless we fix down here. Ah, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Very important. And how do, else do we know that? Two millimeters of this is coming from the sacrum. So if we can just get this tailbone up, you get your balance. Your adjustments hold. Everything holds. Okay, now let's continue. Hopefully that makes sense what I'm saying there. Yeah. Okay, the reason why your, your first floor and second floor aren't holding is because your basement is tilted mm -hmm. and your foundation is tilted. So we got to straighten that out. As we straighten that out, everything else starts to change. Oh, nice. Okay, very simple. Now, let's follow. You have very bad digestion we need to talk about and work on if you want me to while you're here. This is all undigested food over here. This is the Megan Blasey. I don't see this should be a big black half circle hole here. This is gas being produced. So you're not absorbing and assimilating your nutrients as well as you should be. And we will talk about that. And if you want me to work on that, we can. I told you that with cortisone, four, five cortisone shots, there's going to be some demineralization of bone, and there is a little bit of demineralization of your bone. And to fix your, the demineralization, we need to work on your digestion. What exactly demineralization is like a... Calcium is coming out of ah, your bone. Okay. You have weaker bones ah, from the cortisone okay. shots. Okay? okay? So we want to strengthen your bones up uh -huh, too while you're uh -huh. here by fixing your digestion. Uh -huh. Cool. Now, it tilts to the left, 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 comes to the right, comes to the right, goes to the left. Your neck issues, I know you got a lot of oh, stuff here, yeah. and it's starting here, look. Number one, number two, number three. Number three, if you look, number one, number two, number three. Number three is a shift to the side and is, is tilting like this. So these muscles are tight here and loose here. So you're always looking on the right side like this. Yeah, that's why I have very often my neck tilted. 
Yes. I have pain. I can't move here, my head. And yes. I can't. And it's and not, often. it's coming from here. Uh -huh. And this is coming from here. And this is coming from the foundation. Yes. It's all connected. It's all connected. Your TMJ is off, right-sided. We're going to work on your right jaw while you're here. Yeah, well. but it, not even yet. This doesn't open properly, mm -hmm. okay? And the septum, you want me to work on your nose too? I just done last year my nose and throat, everything job because I have allergy. It's fixed now? Yeah, it's fixed. Okay. No more allergies. Okay, I'm not touching it then. Uh -huh. All right, does that make sense, ma'am, what I'm showing you here? Yeah. Now let's look at your side profile and let's talk about your discs. So the tailbone issue is right here, okay, in this area, S4. But here's what I want you to see. If we look at your spine here, okay, this is your L4. Your L4 has gone forward to your L5. So whatever they did here, I don't even know what they did, do they? I have no idea. I too. have no idea what they did. It looks like they cut your spinous process. Hold on one second now. Oh yeah, they cut your spinous process. What it means? I'm going to tell you what they did. Look, these are the bumps in the back here, okay? These are the bumps back here. Mm -hmm. Okay, you see this is number five, yes? Yes. That's this bump here. Uh -huh. Number four is missing half of the bump, okay? Oh yeah. Now, three is there. Now, if we look on the side, now, if we look on the side here, look, this is five, this is four. You're missing your spinous process here. I don't know what, they cut something here. I don't know what they did. Um, but here's the good news. You still have a lot of disc for me to work with. So that's your blessing, okay? To the rest of my yeah. life. <laughs> I, I don't know what they did there, but it looks like they cut half the spinous process and that's it. Okay, but the good news, your discs are good, okay ma'am? These discs are all good. It's a little tilted, but beautiful discs. Discs are fine. Look at me. Your discs are fine. Good. Okay. Thank you. Now, let's Just continue. Just one good news. <laughs> yes. As we go up the spine, these discs are all fine. These discs are fine. Okay. This is where we have an issue in the neck, too. But the answer of this, this is not the cause of your neck pain. This is a result. This is trying to fuse and it's a little bit worn out, but you have a reverse curve in your neck going the wrong way, okay? And we need to see, can we actually work with this neck? Let me see, okay. So in flexion, all of these should open and move and they do. This is where I get the answer. When we go forward, they should all open and they all open. Mm -hmm. If it was stuck, then it would tell me it was a neck problem. Mm -hmm. But the neck is not, whatever's going on here is coming from here. Mm -hmm. And you will see after the adjustment today, I'm not gonna touch your neck today. You'll tell me the difference. You'll tell all of us at the end, <laughs> okay? Deal? Deal. All right, so let's put this all together now. We have foundation and we, we have foundation sacrum and we have something going on around T4 here. Okay, I don't know what's going on here till I examine her. We have a right jaw, and now mm -hmm. let's watch you walk and see what else we can find on. Yeah, you. I see big difference. Yes, right. ma'am. And first thing we need to do is let's go ahead and examine her, and let's see what we got going on. And we are getting actually a big reading here at the top upper cervical, 15 points. Make that 23 points. Ten points, T3, T4, left side, that's the side slip. There it is. All right. Med back is good. It's not coming from there. There it is. There it is. 
There it is. 15 points, S4. Static palpation. Head down, please. And as we're running our fingers down the spine, right there is where it starts. Right there. That's your edema. And from there, all the swelling goes down the spine, all the way down that left side, all the way down into, you start to get the orange peel. This is where they did that surgery. Mm -hmm. very tight on the right side. You feel it, right? Mm -hmm. Very tight. These mm -hmm. ligaments are very tight, very tight. There's a lot of adhesions and scar tissue all in through here and you can see how red it is. Okay, one, two, three, four. Number four or number five? Four. Oh. And five. Yes? Yeah. Number six? Oh, God. Oh, That's shit. the one. Gotcha. Okay. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Number seven. Mm. Number four. Four? Mm. Number seven three? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> seven so painful. Yeah. Now, I got the reading here, guys, but the seven is the most swollen. And we do talk about how the reading can be a few segments off, right? But here's my thought on that. I think we're going to work on the foundation first and then recheck everything. Because this one is probably hiding. You see, now that I did that, it came out. We're going to wait on this. Mm -hmm. We're going to focus on the foundation and then we're going to come back to the top. Back slowly towards me, please. Just your body, keep your head straight. Just come back here, there you go. Number five. Okay, this is five. Tender? Yeah. This is four. You can feel there's a piece of the spine that's missing there. Five, oh. five. S1, S2. S3. Oh! I hold on. S4. That's where it's Oh my that's, gosh. Now you see what I'm talking about? S4. Stand up for me, please. Right over here in the corner. Let's go ahead and walk to the corner of the room and back. And you're going to do this a few times. Keep going. She got the Mongolian shuffle is what she got. <laughs> Keep going. You can see her walk is very uneven, very guarded, very unstable. Okay. And you can see the left foot prone it has supinates in order to compensate for the short leg. Let's do that one last time. And let's get ready to change lives. Come on. Yep. Face down over here for a second. Slide up a tiny bit, please. There you go. Those below. Relax the shoulders. Go. What's your husband's name? Ank Baya. Ank Baya. Ank Baya. You did good, Ank. Now, we have to be on S4. We need to torque clockwise to bring the left side up. You know, it'd be really, really cool. Slide up, slide up, go up. There, up more, up. There you go. S4, torque. Oh, it's ready. Gotcha. Oh, 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 oh,
Oh, God. Beautiful. Ah, Raheem. Wait for it. Give me your hand. Oh, God. What just happened? I just set your tailbone. Give it a second. March in place. Okay. March in place when you're ready, please. Check it out. Walk a few times. Keep your head straight. You need to see the back though. We gotta see if we got our groove back. Swelling's already coming down, dude. Keep going. Good. Come back over here and have a seat. Now let's continue. A little different, right? Have a seat. Sitting is also a little different now, too. Good. I got it. I got it. Starting at the base. That upper cervical is still there. We need to do it. That actually cleared up her T4 for today. T7 is the culprit. T7, C1, occiput. Sit back for me, please. All the way back. Seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one on the left, one on the right, one on the left, one on the left, one on the left. C1. On the left, I'm going to just do a little bit of two on the right just to get a better stable foundation. Look up. <coughs> left ear down, down. <laughs> Yo, yeah. Go ahead and walk up. That's the home run there. Stand up. Stand up, walk it off. Welcome to LA. Yeah. Check it out. Sign in LA. Check it out. It's different now. Check out her dimples now. She's not going sideways. Yeah, oh she's, my God. She's yeah. going up and down. She got her groove back. I can tell, yeah. Face down over here, please. T7, sugar button. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to do a tiny bit more of the tailbone with the drop. Gotcha. All right. Now, step back. Walk it out. Sure. As you're, as you're walking, look at her, now she's moving fast. <laughs> now as you're walking, tell us what's different. Good, bad, doesn't matter. What's different? Walk and talk. Uh, I feel so balanced now. And you're pissed. <laughs> <laughs> she's pissed. Be happy, okay? Whatever happened, happened. Mm -hmm. Today is your day one. Okay. We move forward from today. Mm -hmm. 
whatever happened, therapies, this, that, blah, blah, is done. Forget about it. Okay. We start from today and move forward. Have a seat, please. Look at that show. Neck is clear. That was upper cervical critical atlas. That cleared up her T3, T4 for today. T7 is clear. You can already see the swelling in her back is gone, dude. That's nice. Mira. Clear. Check it out. You ready for this? Uh -huh. Watch. Come on. Don't be scared. That's five. Don't be scared. That's four. Tell your sister. Good? Mm -hmm. S1. S2. Good? Mm -hmm. She's not screaming. S3. Good? Mm -hmm. This is the one I adjusted. S4. Uh -huh. Little tender, uh -huh. but good. Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. Right SI joint, good. Left SI joint, nothing. <sighs> oh my God. <laughs> I just heard some. That was bonus. <laughs> that was extra, okay? It was good bonus. Shoulders, let me do it, let me do it. Let's do a close shoulder. Let's do the jaw. Sit back for me, please. Slowly open. Uh, open, open. Right AI. Open all the way. Close. There you go. Oh my god. Oh my god, so much. Sit up straight. Go on your back, please. Gotcha. Bus. Sit up and turn. Now you get the buff and polish. This is so painful. Now, look, look straight, look to the right, look to the left, all the way. Look to the right. Different? Mm -hmm. Look straight. What you think, sister? She, her energy is shifting right now. That's why she wanted to come to, from Philadelphia. All right, walk it off one last time. I'm going to do your hands. Walk it out. So much better. How are you doing? No pain. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Good. Okay, squeeze my hand. Let's check your hand. Squeeze. Lunate and elbow. Relax the hand. Relax the hand. Relax the hand. Wow. Sound. Squeeze. Radial head. Clunk. Lunate. Squeeze, squeeze, let go of this hand, squeeze, one at a time, let go, ah. one at a time, Okay. let go. Uh -huh. So each visit now, we check and we see. Uh -huh. All of this started at S4.
-hmm. Once S4 is clear, then I can move up to the other stuff, whatever comes mm -hmm. up, okay? Sure. And uh, if you can do two weeks here, it's better. Okay. Okay, my dear? Mm -hmm. Welcome Thank to the you office. So much. You're very All welcome. Right. So I am coming tomorrow, yes. <laughs> See you tomorrow.